right? What really happens, and before we really go into septic shock, I want to know what is the term bacteremia means. There's a term called bacteremia. There's another term called septicemia. Septicemia. You must know what is the difference in bacteremia and septicemia. Then there's another condition called endotoxemia. Endo toxemia. Right? So can you tell me the difference between these terms? That first of all you have to tell me what is bacteremia? Yes, what is bacteremia? Bacteremia is for you know, bat, uh, some bacteria present in the blood. Yeah. And how bacteremia is different from septicemia? Yeah. The septicemia is when you the block is bacteria and the uh, No, no, look. Do you think today you got bacteremia? Did you get today bacteremia? Did you get daily bacteremia? Answer is yes. Bacteremia means simply the presence of bacteria in the blood. Presence of bacteria in the blood. When you toothbrush, few bacteria do enter in your microcirculation. So the GIT, small cracks in the lumen of GIT or in the mucosa of GIT, some small bacteria enter into blood. Right? So what really happens that bacteremia is one of the common things. You are working in the kitchen, you get a little cut, some bacteria do enter. Is that right? So bacteremia is a very common phenomenon that bacteria may jump into your blood. But in a person who is a man, these bacteria which regularly keep on entering or quinally keep on entering into your circulation, these bacteria are caught by your defenses and destroyed. So bacteremia is a not very rare. Is that right? It's a, some, something common. You do shave in the morning and if you cut, produce a cut here, you get bacteremia. Is that right? Septicemia is a very horrible situation. Bacteremia is something not that dangerous. Septicemia is a really big problem. Septicemia means bacteria are present in your circulation and they are actively multiplying. That bacteria are using your blood as a blood culture. Right? This is a very big difference. Just bacteria inadvertently enter into your blood and then they are caught and destroyed by your immune system. This is called bacteremia. But if bacteria enter into your circulation and they start actively multiplying and damaging, the condition is called septicemia. Endotoxemia means that in your blood, lot of endotoxins are present. Endotoxins are special lipopolysaccharides which are specially present in gram-negative bacteria, lipopolysaccharide. Endotoxins are special type of lipopolysaccharide which are present in gram-negative bacteria. You know the difference in gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacteria? Gram positive bacteria has inner membrane. This is gram positive. Gram negative bacteria also have inner membrane. But the difference is the gram positive have lipid bilayer and outside that it has lot of peptidoglycan layer. What is this layer? Gram positive have a very thick layer of peptidoglycan. Right? Gram negative has, gram negative bacteria have very thin layer of peptidoglycan and they have additional outer lipid bilayer. They have one more lipid layer. So, gram negative positive have only inner lipid layer and outside they have peptidoglycan. Gram negative have inner lipid layer and then outer lipid membrane and in between that it has a thin peptidoglycan layer. Now, in gram negative, when we say that there are outer lipid layer, in this outer lipid layer, there are special type of lipid A. This is a special type of lipid A. And this lipid A has a core carbohydrate. It has a core carbohydrate and with that, it is having polysaccharide tail. Again, let me show you here. There is lipid A. This is lipid A, right, lipid A and with this lipid A there is core sugar and with that there is a long tail of polysaccharide, remember in all gram negative, in all gram negative organisms lipid A and core protein is same but in different gram negative organisms polysaccharides are different. In different gram-negative organisms, polysaccharides are 
different. So we can say that whole, whole the structure is called yes endotoxin. So endotoxins are mainly present in gram negative bacteria and all the gram negative bacteria have lipid A and core sugar same but from bacteria to bacteria for example salmonella, shigella, serratia all of them have endotoxins but their endotoxins have same lipid A, same core sugar but they are having different polysaccharides. Is that clear to everyone? So you can say polysaccharide is unique to a particular group of gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria and fungi do not have endotoxins. Gram positive bacteria and fungi do not have exactly the molecule like gram uh, endotoxins but gram positive have some similar molecules like these are called endotoxin like molecule endotoxin like molecule but gram, gram positive bacteria do not have any true endotoxins is that right it means that what is the difference in endotoxin and exotoxin by the way what is the difference between endotoxin and exotoxin so toxin is when a battery uh, that uh, produce a toxin outside in the blue. Okay. And uh, and and the toxin is when a battery produce a uh, your toxin. Okay. For Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Endotoxins are the toxins which are integral component of bacteria. Write it down. Endotoxins are the toxins which are the integral component of bacterial structure. They are only released, they are usually released when bacteria die. When bacteria fragment down, then endotoxins are released. So endotoxins are the toxic substances which are integral component of the outer lipid membrane of gram-negative bacteria and they are usually released when bacteria die, gram-negative bacteria start dying, endotoxins are released. Exotoxins are released by the living bacteria, right? So endotoxins are the part of bacteria, but exotoxins can be released by the bacteria. Now, the point which you remember that exotoxins can be released by gram-negative as well as exotoxin can be released by gram-positive. This is exotoxin. Exotoxin is a substance bacteria can release when it is living itself. Right? Another point which is important. Let's compare endotoxin and exotoxin. Number one, endotoxins are limited only to gram-negative bacteria. Exotoxins may be in, from gram-negative or may be from gram-positive. Number two, endotoxins are integral structure of the gram-negative bacteria. Exotoxins are not the integral structure. They are released by the living bacteria, right? Number three, endotoxins, all of them work in the same fashion. Endotoxin come from salmonella or endotoxin come from Klebsiella or endotoxin come from E. coli. All the endotoxins damage our body in the same way. But exotoxins for different bacteria produce different effects in the body. Exotoxins from different bacteria produce different effects in the body. For example, there is exotoxins called coming from the bacillus tetanus that produces tetanus. But different exotoxins come from the bacillus bottle, botulinum and that produces a disease flaccid paralysis, right? In the same way, there, there are some exotoxins which, which act as enterotoxin and produce diarrhea and nausea. So what I am saying that different bacteria produce different types of exotoxins but all the gram-negative bacteria produce same type of endotoxins as far as lipid A is concerned because lipid A in all the gram-negative uh, bacteria's endotoxin is same and it is the lipid A which is a more dangerous component which is producing the disease to us. So we can say that from three different bacteria if endotoxin enter into three different patients, listen, we take endotoxins from three different bacteria and inject into three different patients, all patients will develop the similar problems with endotoxins. But if you take exotoxins from through different type of bacteria, inject in different patients, they will get different diseases. Endotoxins act generally. 
exotoxins act specifically. For example, some exotoxins work only on the nervous system. Some exotoxins work only on the heart. Some exotoxins will damage only the kidney. So exotoxins go for a particular target tissue. But endotoxins have general effects. Then another thing, very important. You already know structure of endotoxin is lipopolysaccharide. Structure of endotoxin is lipopolysaccharide. And structure of exotoxin is usually a protein. That is a protein exotoxin. Is that right? 